Hello, Capricorn. This is your reading for November 1st through the 15th. So when I was meditating on your energy, I was actually seeing the Two of Cups. So I think that this is a time when you're actually focused on love or you're looking for love. Um, if you're already in a relationship, this may be a time when you're actually taking your relationship to the next level. But I really get the energy that, that you are focused on love at the moment. And you're focused on something that you love. Okay. Yeah, we have the Justice card in your overall energy. Let's see what's crossing you. You have the Five of Cups crossing the energy. Have the near past, please. The justice card. I feel like with this energy, um, The truth has come out. I feel like the truth has come out. In the near past, you have the Ace of Pentacles. It's crowning you. In the crowning energy, you have the Six of Wands in the reverse. In your foundation, you have the Eight of Cups. In the near future, you have the Queen of Wands. Your energy, you have the Hermit. Your foundations, you have the, your environment. You have the Page of Pentacles, uh, your hopes and desires. The lovers, yeah, that's the energy I was getting. Your hopes and desires, you're, you're hoping for love. I say that what is the outcome oh. okay let's see you have several cards that came out here okay you have the chariots and the overall energy and let's see we also have the strength card we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, now at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Six of Pentacles is not in reverse, it's upright. Okay, now let's see. Okay, for your energy, I see you have the Justice card and, and you're being challenged by the Five of Cups. So I think that um, this is you, this is you, but this could also be Libra energy. Um, but I feel like you are waiting for your karma. You're waiting for someone to come and pull you out of this five of cups energy. Cause I feel like this is past disappointments. This, this is your past disappointments. Um, maybe on love. In the near past, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like 
you have had something new come in and maybe it has left you disappointed in the situation. It wasn't exactly what you were looking for. Excuse me. And in your foundations, you have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like what came in wasn't exactly what you were looking for. So you are ready to move away from that situation. You're ready to cut that loose. Um, you also are being crowned by the Six of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person that you're cutting loose, they may not want to cut you loose. Um, they may see you as someone that they can build something with. So they are reluctant to cut you loose. They may be spying on you. In the near future, you have the Queen of Wands. So I see this new person as very vibrant. If they haven't come in yet, they will. Um, this person that will be coming in to your near future, they are very attractive, very assertive. Um, they speak their mind. They are very confident and self-assured. They actually carry themselves that way. They carry themselves with confidence. So this person coming in your near future could be the one, Capricorn. It could be the one that you're looking for, the one that you desire, um, the Queen of Wands and the Lovers. So it, it could be a fulfillment of your desired actions that's going to bring you to this point. Now, I see that in um, This Is You, um, the Hermit. So maybe after this time of disappointment, um, you've actually been by yourself for a while you've actually isolated yourself you haven't wanted to go out you haven't wanted to see new people but I feel like you're slowly opening up to the um, to the thought of moving on um, maybe you received a message out of the blue that kind of brought you out of that situation um, with the page of pentacles it may, it may be that you received a message from this person that you weren't really um you weren't really expecting the message it kind of came right out of the blue i think um but yeah this this person that will be coming forth in your near future this is actually your desires i can see this as something lasting and in your outcome, you have the chariot. So I believe that you're going to be moving forward to this opportunity and love. I believe that this is something that's going to um, catch you by surprise. This is something that, that you may be even relocate because of the situation. Now in the clarifying cards, we have the strength. So I think this could be a Leo that's coming in. It doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, this could be a, a fire sign that's coming in. It doesn't have to be, but I think it is. And um, this actually is going to bring you a lot of strength and stability in this situation. Um, you're going to have to be courageous when you venture after this person because this person is very confident. They're very um, assured on their abilities and they're very attractive. So yeah, it is it's a good catch for you, Capricorn. Now, you also have the Two of Pentacles. So I believe that this situation is going to take you off balance. This, this is definitely something that's going to be out of the blue. Um, it's going to catch you by surprise. So, yeah, and very interesting. Very interesting, Capricorn. Um, you also have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So 
I believe this is something that is going to give you a balanced interaction. This is something that's going to be equal give and take, I believe. They're going to provide you and give you exactly what you need. So, yeah, I think this is very, very optimistic energy, Capricorn. And there you are showing up in a very strategic way. The devil is Capricorn energy. And I'm not getting any bad vibes from this energy. I'm just seeing that you are clarifying that this is your energy, Capricorn. You are showing up in your reading in a very significant way. This is very Capricorn energy. And let's get some clarifying for the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So you have two aces here. So you're definitely in for a new beginning. Um, this is going to be a new beginning, new challenges, new, new thoughts, new um, ideas on the on the information. You're going to get lots of clarity on this. Can I have a card for the six of, six of Wands? You have the Seven of Wands. So with this old situation, I don't see you progressing. Um, Yeah, I, the, the person that you had to let go of, I don't see them trying to come in and make any changes or trying to um, cause any friction with you. The, this person that you had to let go is actually feeling the mutual um, feelings of, okay, well, this didn't work out. We'll move on to something different. So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling with the Seven of Wands. You have the Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, I, I feel like this person that you were moving from, they didn't exactly give you what you needed. So, you had to move from that situation. Okay. Now, this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, please. Two cards want to come out. Okay, the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this person is definitely a new beginning for you. This person is very, they come across as having a lot of hope. Like, they're very adventurous. Like, um, they're just ready to take that leap. And I, I feel like you create that for them, Capricorn. You, they are ready to take this leap of faith um, because of the kind of person you are. And I feel like this person is actually coming towards you very stable. They're com they may be wealthy or they may have all that they need, but they're actually coming towards you very content and um, from a happy place. And they may provide you with more abundance as well. So you may have more abundance, more happiness due to this person. With the Hermit, we have the Five of Wands. So I think that uh, while you had isolated yourself to gain clarity, I think that you had kind of overcome challenges within yourself. I think that you were really working on your situation. You were working on making yourself a better person. That's what I'm getting. With the Page of Pentacles, two cards wanted to come out again, the Seven of Cups and the Magician. So I, I feel like this Page of Pentacles, this person that sent you the message, um, I believe that you, if you haven't received a message, you will. Um, but I, I believe that this person is giving you a lot of options to deal with. They are um, fulfilling a lot of your needs is what I'm getting. And this person has all the resources. They, they are actually working their magic on you, I think.
Yeah. Okay. And what about the lovers? Tell me about the lovers. Okay. We have the King of Wands and the Six of Cups. Okay. So yeah, this person, this person is definitely more assertive. This person is very charming and powerful. Um, they kind of are leading with their heart is what I'm getting. But it looks like they want to gift you with happiness. Uh, maybe build a family. Yeah, we have, oh my gosh, okay. With the chariot, we have the Ten of Cups and the Sun. Wow. So this is definitely, this is definitely something that is very significant. This is something that is... Very, the, this is life changing. This is life changing energy. You have the chariot, which is clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Sun. So, this is your destined person, I believe. This is the one. Wow, okay. I think this is this is going to bring you great happiness, Capricorn. Okay, wow. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. So you're going to receive lots of messages over this, over this next couple of weeks. You're going to receive, and you have the Chariot again. So you're definitely moving forward, and you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is something that is going to leave you very fulfilled. This is going to bring you a lot of happiness. This is changing your destiny. This is moving forward in a miraculous way. Um, and Capricorn, I feel like you're showing up in the middle of it all. You are just, this is just happiness for you. Wow, okay. Let's get some cards. Okay. Yeah, you were healing in your heart. That's number 23. I think that this person is going to come in and they're going to heal all of your past wounds um, from many relationships. This person is going to make you feel like what I'm getting is, I'm, I what I want to say is this person is going to make you feel like you want to surrender. Wow, so this person is very, very loving and nurturing. And I, I, I feel like you will want to be very nurtured by this person. This person is going to provide you healing of all of your past wounds. Yeah, and you have number 48, a burst of magic. So yeah, this person is going to open up new doors for you that you didn't even realize could be opened. That's what I'm getting. And we have a card that fell on the floor. Of course, beautiful uncaging. I have a hair right there. Excuse me. Yeah, beautiful uncaging. So yeah, this person is going to be the answer to your prayers. And you have the body and soul at the bottom. So yeah, th this person is actually someone who I can see you building a life with. Uh, someone who's going to bring you a lot of happiness and stability. Someone who is definitely the one. Wow, okay. Let's get you some angel guidance to close this reading. Capricorn, this is definitely the best reading so far. Okay, angels, let's get a message to close out this reading. No, that's way too many.
Okay, you have Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Yeah, so along with Archangel Uriel, I think this person is going to provide you with a lot of healing and comfort. And you have angel protection as well. And you have Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people. And your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, and parenting children. Okay, so maybe this person who's coming into your life, maybe this person has children. And, um, or maybe you're a teacher. Maybe this person is a teacher. Yeah, but it involves children. So this person coming into your life, they may have children already. And you may be becoming a parent if you're, if you're not a parent already. Wow, okay. One more. Okay, and we have Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You now have the power, have to be, let's see. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Okay. And we also have Chantel. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Okay, that's a beautiful reading, Capricorn. All right, I wish I was a Capricorn right now. But yeah, okay. Thank you for joining me. If this message resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Um, they may resonate with you more than others. And many blessings to you, Capricorn. Love and light.